Hey everybody, Morgan here from the Wayne Public Library. It's quarantine craft day number five. Number five, it's Friday. Uh, happy National Library Week. We got one more day to go. Today I'm going to give you something special. I am going to give you two crafts. So in case you have been running out of paper towel rolls, <laughs> like I have been at home, um, I'm going to give you another craft just in case you don't have one. But if you do have another paper towel roll at home or for when your next one comes up, this craft, um, it's a craft game, this one in particular. So the first thing you're gonna do is you need paper plates. I just chose to get four and the cheaper, the better. <laughs> Unfortunately, these are the only ones and the only size I have. So this is what I have to deal with. Again, this one is so easy. That's why I decided to do two. But I also thought it'd be really fun. Like, I like the craft games because they allow you to keep playing with, uh, with what you make. So, I like that. Alright, so, very simply, if you, I, I recommend, again, I recommend a better glue for this. Um, especially for any major usage. So I'm literally just going on the, the end there and a liquid glue or a tacky glue, a craft glue, a gorilla glue, something really strong would be perfect for this game. And you literally gonna place it in the center or as close to the center as you can. And you place it with the paper plate upside down. So it's got kind of a little base. And, and you know, honestly, I am amazed at how strong, um, at how strong stick glue is. But so that's literally our base of the game. And the hardest part is going to be cutting out the, the center area. So with cheaper paper plates, what's really nice is they have like a wider gap and you can easily just cut um that space out i'm please have an adult help you <laughs> this is i wish i had an adult to help me it's gonna be a little tricky um not exactly sure how i'm gonna do it i don't want to split it in half and i don't want to fold it necessarily but i might have to yeah you just have to get it started sometimes that's like the hardest like I said, these paper plates that I have are not ideal, but I'm not going to go to the store and risk my safety to, to get the right item. So, um, and I still wanted to make this. So very simply, like I said, once you get that spot, once you get that hole cut and started, it's easy. Okay. So I'm just, I'm going to show you one. So not perfect again we like not perfect here so what it's going to be is it's going to be a ring you can't see that it's going to be a ring toss game okay so the next steps are really up to you as far as decoration i've got my little these have crayons and markers and this is my boyfriend's kids uh, little little craft box which i need to i need to amp up since this quarantine i realized but you can use crayons, and I think I'm a little burnt out on using markers, so I think I am going to use crayons. Um, and I think I'm going to do designs. You could do solid colors, you could do patterns, you could do whatever you want. So I'm going to play around and check in with you in a minute and see how yours is coming. Okay, so I finished my three rings, and I just did. I just decided to do like look charm style, purple hearts, yellow stars, which you can't really see. And pink flowers. I don't know. Uh, just what I was motivated to do today. So this is really simple. And you're not going to be able to see it off screen. And you can keep decorate. You can decorate this whole thing. You can make it absolutely gorgeous. You could glue, you know, construction paper, colored paper onto it or onto the, your rings. Anything you want to do. You can make your tube beautiful. You can do anything. Anything is sky's the limit. So what you're gonna do, just set your your base on the floor, and then you're gonna challenge yourself to make 
ring toss. So you could play it with multiple people. You could have uh, two of these um, set up if you have one at one part of the room, one at the other end, have them certain width apart and, you know, kind of put them all over at one side and then toss them all to the other. But it's a fun little game. You can have tons of people play. So you make sky's the limit. Love it. So super simple, super easy. This is your first craft of the day. So um, I'm going to reset and I'll show you what we're going to make next. Okay, so for our second craft today, um, we are going to be using um, disposable straws if you have any at home. Um, the smoothie ones actually work better. These are just the regular size. I'm not even sure why I have these at my house, but I guess I don't even use them. I think the box is completely full and uh, this will be the first time using them. So I'm not really sure why, <laughs> why I have straws, but these are the flexible kind. It doesn't matter. We'll make it work either way. So, um, depends how many you have or how many you want. We're going to be making kind of like a, a pan flute. So they're going to be all in a row and they're going to be different lengths and then they'll make different sounds. So, um, again, it's up to you how big you want your pan flute to be. Apparently I have plenty of straws to work with. So I think I'll choose five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll go with five today. So the only really other thing, scissors and glue, which is, you know, and stick glue is actually totally fine for this. If you have double-sided tape, that would be great though too. So, um, and a piece of paper. It does not have to be construction paper. It's just what I have and I thought I'll choose blue. So, that off camera. So, all we're going to be doing is literally making, um, out of the paper is making a place to attach them all inside and kind of hold the pan flute. So, it's really up to how many like if you made your pan flute this big, you could have a ton, you know, a ton of very slightly incremental sizes, different size differences. Um, that would be awesome. Just going to go, I think the easiest way is just kind of take a piece of paper and fold it up. This is not a science. This is nothing. Not, just something simple. So... I'm just going to cut where I folded that down to, and it's, again, not perfectly accurate or anything. And then I'm going to cut on that crease also. So I do want two separate pieces, but I want them to be the same, so that's definitely the easiest way to get them to be the same size. All right, so now I have two pieces of paper that are the same size. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to, you want them all to be sticking up the same, uh, height. Okay. I'm going to cut mine after and I'm going to do that for a couple of reasons because I think it's just a lot easier and I can really control the height and make sure they're not too short and too long and all that stuff. So I hope you can see, um, you know, my paper's a little long. I could add a few more onto there, but I think I'm just going to stick to this and I think I'll just cut that extra paper off. You are, you know, decorate your paper, do that first. Um, use crayons, markers, um, or colored pencils or whatever you want, whatever. I, uh, I'll do this. I'm going to write hand flute and then I'll decorate it a little bit. So I'm going to decorate my paper for just a minute and see what. Okay. So I uh, decorated my, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to write pan flute and make yellow stars. Okay. So I did think some about something when I was um, working on that is I think I am going to keep mine longer and I'm going to like glue the parts that are that are not taken up. I think that'll help hold it all in. 
So, all right, let's get to the point where we are making this pan flute. That side. Okay. So, not gonna lie, I feel a little nervous about this one. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because it has to be more accurate than anything else. And you can add more straws. Like, this is not a, a limit of five. Okay. So, I am going to make big, ah, big loose on the part that is going to just stick for the paper fold. And then I'm going to glue a line to hold that straw in place. So this part is for the paper to attach, and this will be for my straw. And then you'll do it on the other piece of paper, not for this section, but for where your straw will be. So, all right, I'm gonna attach each straw. Work on yours. Okay, so at this point, I've got them all attached to my bottom piece of paper, okay? And I've got my one side started to be attached here. So I've been thinking about the easiest way for me with a glue stick to do this, and if you have double-sided tape, it's so not an issue. Just put your whole double-sided tape on, you know, each side of this and just stick it down. But I think I'm actually going to put my glue right onto the straw for the next piece of paper. So this should work. This glue stick has been such a lifesaver for me. And tomorrow's craft is no glue. No glue. I can't wait for tomorrow's craft. I've been waiting. I think I'm finally using this whole glue stick up. I think this is its last day in paradise. Alright, so I'm just going to lay this across. Right, that feels pretty secure. Alright, so here comes the, the sound thing. This is where we're going to be playing with the sounds. All right, so I've got my pan flute. It is stuck. I'm excited. So if you blow on this, it all makes the same sound because they're <clears throat> all the same length, okay? So we want to make them different lengths. And usually a pan flute will go like just straight on angle so you have your longest to your shortest pipe. So... I am not going to cut my longest one, but the next one I'm going to cut, oops, that was fun, and then a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, and then the shortest one. So there you go. I've got my pan flute. I've got them all on an angle, and like I said, I did that just so that these could be more straight. Let's hear, see if we hear a difference. I really hope. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is a difference in sound, which is really cool. So the more you have, the more um, change of, of notes you'll have. And that was fun. That was pretty cool. It really does work. And I don't know if you can hear that or pick that up because my heater is going. So, but um, that's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoy your pan flute, and I hope you enjoy your ring toss game. And tomorrow, I'm really excited. It is going to be another game, but I can't wait because it's uh, a really silly, fun family game. All around family game. That's really easy. So, enjoy your pan flute. Enjoy your ring toss. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.